Hello. In this video, we are going to look at an implementation of the algorithm to swap elements using Java. So I've set the stage here. We have an integer value that stores 3, so an int x, which stores 3, an integer value called y, which stores 7. And the temptation for early programmers is to do something like this, y equals x and x equals y. And so now if I print out the values before and after the swap, so if I go system.out.println, So this is simply going to print out x and y. Let's take this. Oh, this is a semicolon down below. There we go. And let's do a bunch of stars just to help see where those break. So if I run this now, oh, semicolon, too much, and a dot. <laughs> there we go. If I run these now. I, get x, I start off with x is 3, y is 7, but they end up both being 3. And again, the, the mistake there is that we're forgetting that when you assign a, a variable of value, whatever was there before disappears. So the solution to that is we need to create a temporary variable which is going to hold whatever we overwrite initially. So I'm going to make a temp variable, so I'm going to call temp, and I'll, I'll initialize it to 0. And then what I can do here is I can say temp is equal to y, and this is going to temporarily hold the value of y. And then instead of saying x equals y, I say x equals temp. And now when I run that, the values have switched. I hope that video helped. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.